it's time once again, dear friends, to award our flying fickle finger of fate. And who gets it this week? The 538 members of the Electoral College. Now, as you may or may not know, our next president will be the candidate who receives a majority. Well, I certainly hope so. Now, I want you to pay attention. Should neither Mr. Nixon nor Mr. Humphrey receive a majority, the election would then be thrown into the House of Representatives who would decide among themselves who will be the next president. Is this going to take much longer? No, not very much. Now, let's say that George Wallace carries only Rhode Island this year. Blow in their ears, they'll vote for anybody. Rhode Island, the smallest state with four electoral votes. Let's say that Mr. Nixon and Mr. Humphrey tie. Fascinating, Dr. Zargoff. You go on. I intend. The election would then be thrown into the House of Representatives. Hmm, so what? So what? Well, that simply means they could then elect George Wallace our next president. Oh, ho! Well, let's give it to the Electoral College. That's what we intend to do. Goldie, bring in the award, please. Buenos dias, La Cienega, and... <laughs> Tacos! What? What's that, Goldie? Well, I'm just practicing my Spanish. Oh, you going to Berlitz? No, but, um... <laughs> if uh, George Wallace gets elected on four votes, I'm moving to Argentina. Electoral College, you've got this coming to you. 